so basically on Monday, I took her to the vet and uh, they initially told me that uh, I should obtain it, or have her get an MRI because mm -hmm. this is an early onset of uh, IBDD. She had no response at all. I had to push her in the door because she couldn't move. She was in. And this is his dog Lola. Lola's four years old. Four years old, yes. Uh, French, French bulldog. French bulldog, right? And um, boy, are you a good-looking dog? Maybe. Did you come to visit me? Do you watch my videos? I do. <laughs> is, she, is she ever with you watching? Yeah. Okay, good. Thanks for watching my videos. Do you want to work together today, Lola? Do you want to? How do you feel about me working with you? Do you feel like that might be okay? Think about it a little bit, because I want to make sure you're okay with it. Would, it. would I be able to work naturally and gently with you? Okay. What do you think? All right, let's do it today, okay? And you're okay with my Absolutely. work with Lola? Absolutely. All right. <clears throat> so tell us a little bit about Lola. Like what happened recently? So, you were telling me, but, but, right, but sure. tell them too. So basically on Monday, I took her to the vet and uh, they initially told me that uh, I should obtain it or have her get an MRI because this is an early onset of uh, IBDD. All right, so that's intervertebral disc disease, um, arthritis, spinal changes, lipping and spurring, where the, uh, the edge of the vertebra lips, they call it lip because it like lips out where they should be nice little squares and little boxes, it'll have edges and protrusions that are already changing. Did they see that in the x-ray or they were or they're just mm -hmm. guessing at it? No, they, they were they were doing field tests because her rear two legs were lame <clears> and <throat> they were like, you know, applying pressure, she didn't move. They were flipping her paws up and down, and she kept them there, she didn't move. And she just yeah. couldn't really stand on. So they're flipping the paws up and down. Here, let's watch this right now. So I'm gonna flip the front paw down and she immediately doesn't want me doing that. Because a dog, especially a quadruped, well, all dogs are quadrupeds, but um, they, they need to be stable and they are dealing with gravity, like we all are, but they just know that that's wrong if I knuckle them down. So knuckling down is they, you turn the knuckles down. And then I can do this side and right away her brain goes, uh-uh, I don't like that. Nope, 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 nope. But then if there's some neurological damage or, or if the spine is compromised or if there's a tumor or something like that that's um, interfering with the nerve impulse coming down the leg and the communication between brain and, and the appendage, um, correct it. Tiny bit slow. Correct. So watch this, come in really close, okay? So, now look how fast her front is. First of all, she's correcting the front before I even put it down. Correct. So, so I don't even get to knuckle down. She's already gone, uh-uh, that's not good for me. So let's watch. It's, it's, she's correcting before I, she won't even let me put it down once. Now watch what she does on the back leg. She sits there, which well, she did it before, mm -hmm. and she at least lets me knuckle it down. It's a little slower than the front. And See, there you go. See. And then the brain gets a delayed response and then she corrects it. And so proprioception is joint placement and joint perception. And, um, and a good example of that is when you're caught for drunk driving. I never was, I'm just using this as an example. And the police officer makes you touch your finger to your nose. Oh, I just missed, I'm probably even drunk right now. And there, and there. Or coming in and letting them touch in the middle. Oh, I missed. See, I have issues. Um, but that would be an example of, of a proprioception test because when you're under the influence of alcohol, which is a, a toxin to your brain, right? Or it, it toxifies your brain temporarily while you're high on the alcohol, it'll interfere with your normal proprioceptive skills 
and therefore you're um, not ever going to be able to drive the car as Correct. well as you think you are Correct. when you're driving under the influence. Um, and with animals, they need this too. So, so this one, little, it's, it's not bad. And I bet it was bad last week, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, She'd Monday. probably leave it there and not move Monday, it. Yeah, it was, it was, this was Monday. How long did, that, so today is Friday. Today's Friday. So that was four days ago. Four days ago. She would, would have failed the appropriate reception test. Correct, correct. So. Do you remember which side was worse? Uh, in terms of the response time? Yeah. No, I, I couldn't okay. vision. That's okay. It. But do you remember it was like, would it stay there for a second or two? No, the, I, she had no response at all. Yeah. I had to push her in the stroller because she couldn't, she wasn't standing. Oh, wow. So she was really had lameness. She, no, she had lameness. Five days ago. Five days ago. So okay. what I did was I completely isolated her from my other younger <clears throat> Frenchie. Mm -hmm. Isolated her, basically created her. And, um... I or yesterday I received in the mail a uh, high dose of CBD salve, mm -hmm. and I applied it trans topically on my ears to apply some of the inflammation, and she's just been standing. And it's working, huh? Right there. So. All right. So we're gonna just check her today. Sure. We're gonna check her from head to tail, mm -hmm. and also check her back limbs, and um, see what she lets me work with. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, she's so cute. Yeah. Are you in the New York City area? I uh, we're from Brooklyn. Yeah. So not too far. Not too far. Oh, you're such a cute dog. That's yeah, why everybody fed. loves you. We're all fed. Yeah, no, she's yeah, great. She's a really good dog. So I'm checking the atlas first. Because the atlas will affect all the way down to the... Sometimes affect lameness issues. Let's bring the head up. Head should come all the way up. Good. Good. A little bit there. And bring your head down, baby. Nice. Neck. And a little bit here, so I'm going to laterally flex. Oh, you hear that little click a little bit, right? Okay. Let's check this side. So I'm getting a right atlas. So it's a right superior atlas and a slightly posterior. So it went superior or cranially. Cranial is the head, like the cranium, and caudally is the tail. So the direction could be cranial, caudal. It could be posterior, anterior, ventral. Um, so in, in her case, it went posterior, superior. And I'm gonna laterally flex a little bit to the right and bring it. I didn't get it all. Got it. So that one moved. Were you able to hear that a little bit? It clicked, a little click. Not loud, but a little bit. Let's let her think about that for a second. Right, so I'm going to just back off and give her a second to think about that. How did that feel? Hmm? Let's give her a second. Gives me a chance to breathe and relax, because if I'm not breathing, then you can't relax either, right? That's good talk, right? No, she's the best. She's the best. What a face, right? Do you just smile every time you look at her? Pretty much, right? She's relaxed, right? Yeah. Hey, Lola, you ready to keep going? Mm -hmm. Can we do one more? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? What if we do one more? All right, you're a good dog. All right, so I'm going to take that as we can continue. So now I'm checking the neck for something I missed, but I didn't miss anything up there, so that's really good. Okay, so now I'm coming down. And this is where it gets critical for the rear yes. end. Yes. So dogs have seven bones in their neck, mm -hmm. then 13 here, then seven in their lumbars. So seven cervicals, 13 thoracics, seven lumbars. And this is where is the thoracolumbar junction, and it's a very um, stress point. It's a big stress point for quadrupeds. And this one's a little tight. So I definitely want to do this one. So I, you could hold up by the head. One more. Got Good it. girl. Okay. It's okay. All right, that part's done. This is a light tapping instrument. Mm -hmm. I see it. 
You know how soft it is? Yeah. So now I'm going to have Lola face you, okay. and I'm going to pick up one leg at a time. Okay. Oh, I felt that patella. You see your right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she has a hypermobile patella on the left. Did she get on the right too, or mostly just the left? Just the left, yeah. Okay, good. So I'm going to grab above the patella, so I'm not stressing it. Looking for leveling of the pelvis. So she has an aocilium on the right, so that means it goes ventral or anterior and a little superior. And so I grab onto the um, coccyx femoral joint up here, and this usually makes the dog yelp a little bit. Okay. I'm not saying she is, she seems pretty chill, but when I pull this, because it's under oh, here right where it's tender anyway, uh, they go. You know, or do you do something? So I'm just letting you know that okay. could happen, but it's worth getting because sure. it's tilted. Sure. It's okay. Okay, here we go. It's okay. Got it. It's so right. I just pull it back. You won't hear an audible on that one. Um, <laughs> but that freaks them out a little bit. But let's have her stand up so I can see what it looks like again. And what I'm doing is I'm checking these points, and this side kind of bent down a little bit. And this is what it looks like. So here's the, the dog's back right here. And this part here tilted forward. So I got under it here and flicked it back. So here, let's do it from the side. And it just rotates. And it only needs to move like a two millimeters. But then it, the, the pelvis levels, which is really beautiful. Now I'm gonna, you're going to hold the upper body. I would put your, your hand under the chest, just like this, to cradle the chest like a hammock. You don't have to do much. And I'm going to okay. just pick the both legs up in the air and look down at the feet. And do you see how the left leg is pulling short here on camera? Wish you could see this, Ralph. Oh, I, I can okay. see it. But the left leg's pulling short. Oh, okay. And so that sometimes comes from the neck and it sometimes comes from the pelvis, but let's try this sacrum first, okay? So I found a spot right here. I'm actually gonna... Let's check it again. Almost, we got it closer, but there's still one. Let's see if there's another atlas. Do me a favor. So now you're going to um, bend her her nose to this shoulder. It doesn't have to go all the way. Okay. And then you're going to do it to this side, just a little bit. But wait till I'm in position. Okay. Okay, go to the right. And that makes it worse. Go to the left. And that evens it. Good. So that's where it is. It's still the neck. So there's something up here still. I think it's right here. It's a different misalignment. And it's the occiput. Right again. So now take the, well, first of all, it's even. The legs are even, but turn the face all the way to the right. And it still makes it worse. Okay, so we're missing something. It's tricky. You're tricky. <laughs> Let's see what's doing there. Good girl. I'm going to do the sacral base, and then I'm going to come back up to the upper cervical. Good girl. Good mm. girl. Okay, let's check the legs again. Almost there, but not right. I'm going to make this right. Okay, one more. Okay, now let's try it. All right, they're even now. Do you see that? Good. All right, that was worth it. Let's check your little legs. So you're gonna bring this leg up. Nice. One more time. Let's bring this leg up. Let's 
stretch it straight. Boop, boop. There you go. Good. Let's do this one. Good. All right. Let's check. Will you lay down for me? Will you lay on your back or side? Do you think? Yeah, yeah, we can get it. Try to do that. Come on, Mama. Any side. It doesn't matter. It's okay, we don't have to have remove. Yeah. Okay. So let me, because I'll just get in right in here. I just want to rub out the glutes. And also check, like here's a, here's a muscle knot right here. So put your fingertip in here, and right there is a tight muscle. Do you feel it? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to work on that for a minute. So I'm going to do a little tapping in there too because that will help the, the nerve connection down to the foot. Got it. Let me do both sides. Okay, so now let's check the, the back foot again. That's what we want to see yeah. is a quick reflex. So it's still a little slow. I'm not going to say it's perfect because it's not, but it's not bad for five days ago being really bad. No, no, it was so really bad. So turn it this way now so we can look at the back right foot. And she's already very aware of me touching that foot, which is really good. So it's like it's on this side of her body. The it's, yeah, it's worse on the left. The left side. And that's also her bad patella side, Yes. her kneecap. And you see how so she leans this way. So Yeah. Let's see about that. So he's saying she's getting a little bit of a lean. Just trying to straighten everything out. No, you know? please. I, 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 so in here, this here, feel how this is all bumped up. So really soft hands. Do you feel how that's yes. bumped right there? Yes. So that's what I'm working on is those ribs too. Got it. Okay. You can visually see it. Yes. And then you can feel it when you touch it there. Okay, nice. You're such a great dog. One more, because I don't have it totally where I want it. Okay. Good girl. That's a good girl. All right. You're a good dog. That's a good girl, Mama. Little skin crawls. <laughs> All right, everybody, this is Lola. Please leave her love and comments and love and encouragement because this dog really deserves all of that, Thank all so that much. love. Thank you so much. Thank so you. it might be a good idea to bring her back in a couple of weeks. Sure. Um, but let me know how she's doing. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, Let's yeah. put her on the floor. When she's on the floor, don't touch her. Give her a second to figure it out or on her own. And we'll just see. Like, there we go. So a nice little shake out. And um, it's nice when they shake out like that. You've seen that in videos, yes. right? Yes, yes. They don't always do that, but it's nice. And um, now you can touch her. I just wanted her to have a chance to shake out if she wanted to. She's moving well. This is what I'm saying. Like um, I'm telling you on Monday that doc, he, he doctor, I mean, he was urging me to leave right away <clears throat> and schedule an emergency MRI for purposes of performing the spinal IVDD surgery. Oh, to get the surgery too. Right away. So, you know, who knows what Lola's future is, or my future, future or your future. Know but me. this is not a dog that needs surgery today. That's what I was going to say. You know, I'm trying to always be politically correct and diplomatic, but this dog doesn't look like it's ready for surgery today. <laughs> correct. So let's walk down the hall. And off let's, leash. Yeah, off leash is fine. Come on. Hey, come back here with your dad. <laughs> That's 
That's a dog that's moving pretty well now. Five days after lameness, right? Five days after lameness. So she's still a little unstable. She's not totally better yet. Of course. If you put a you can die again. My turn. One thing you could do is, um, is you guys, uh, you, you could just tie it around here. And you're going to, this is going to be kind of a quicker adjustment. Absolutely. Absolutely. Impromptu is best. <laughs> but we're going to get all the good spots. Yes, absolutely. Looks like you've done that before. You know what you're doing. So <laughs> anything sharp in the pockets, take out. Do you have any problem areas for you, like tight neck, tight back? Uh, I have scoliosis in the spine, right? So if right. I can get you glasses oh. too. Now I'm going to just lift this up onto the um, onto this table, okay? Because we might use that. So put your nose right here. Lolo, guess what? We're going to work on Dad right now. It's Daddy, daughter, day. I can feel the scoliosis. This comes through here. Take a big breath in and blow it out. Oh. <laughs> big breath in and blow it out. Another one. Lie on your side facing me this way. Oh, here's the fun stuff. <laughs> and this top knee. Come to the other side. Bring this knee up. That's a big one. Yes, so that that's was. that's in your your oh. scoliosis area yep. too. So here, lie on your back next. Whoa. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel great. <laughs> Good. Yeah, so your neck is all mm. locked up too. So you're gonna sit up and then sit on this little stool. And, and face uh, the window. And look who's behind you. Little look. Pick your chest up just a little bit. Tilt your head down. Good. Got it. You hear a crack in there? Absolutely. Oh. That's it, sir. Oh, hold on, let me get my vision. <laughs> How do you feel? Pretty good? Oh, great. Oh, man. Good. All right, thank you so much. So basically, on Monday, I took her to the vet, and uh, they initially told me that uh, I should obtain or uh, have her get an MRI because this is an early onset of uh, IBDD. She had no 